Hey hi everyone welcome to my YouTube channel ESF Engineering VTYT let's go into video environment environment means everything around us that affects life it has four main components atmosphere air around the earth hydrosphere all water bodies lithosphere land soil and rocks biosphere living organisms like plants animals and humans biosphere biosphere is the part of earth where life exists it includes land air and water where living organisms survive ecosystem an ecosystem is the interaction between living organisms and their environment it consists of biotic living and abiotic non living components components of ecosystem producers green plants that make food using sunlight consumers animals that depend on plants or other animals decomposers bacteria and fungi that break down dead plants and animals food chain A food chain shows the flow of energy from one organism to another. Example: grass right pointing arrow deer right pointing arrow lion. Food web. A food web is a network of many food chains connected together. Energy flow. Energy flows one way in an ecosystem. It starts from the sun right pointing arrow plants right pointing arrow animals. Only a small amount of energy is passed to the next level. Types of ecosystems. Forest ecosystem, trees, animals, rich biodiversity. desert ecosystem very less water hot climate aquatic ecosystem water bodies like rivers lakes oceans biodiversity biodiversity means the variety of plants and animals in a region it is important for ecological balance and human survival deforestation deforestation is the cutting down of forests it causes loss of biodiversity climate change soil erosion and global warming balanced ecosystem A balanced ecosystem has proper balance between producers, consumers and decomposers. It ensures survival of all living organisms. Conclusion exam line. Protection of ecosystems and biodiversity is essential for a sustainable and healthy environment. Okay, m let's go into module 2. Module 2 1 minute revision energy resources. Energy is the capacity to do work. Energy is required for industries, agriculture and daily life. Energy sources are two types. conventional energy like coal oil natural gas hydropower non conventional energy like solar wind tidal geothermal and biogas energy is also classified as renewable energy can be reused solar wind water non renewable energy limited and exhaustible coal petroleum solar energy comes from the sun it is renewable and pollution free but costly and depends on sunlight wind energy uses windmills to generate electricity It is clean but needs large land and high initial cost. Tidal energy uses rise and fall of sea water to produce power. It is renewable but very expensive to set up. Geothermal energy uses heat from inside the earth. It is reliable but available only in certain areas. OTEC uses temperature difference between surface and deep ocean water. Biogas is produced from organic waste and animal dung. It is eco-friendly and useful for cooking and electricity. Hydroelectric power uses flowing water from dams to produce electricity. It is clean but causes displacement and environmental issues. Conclusion exam line. Renewable energy sources are essential for sustainable development and energy security. Okay, let's go into module 3. Module 3 1 minute revision environmental pollution. Pollution is the introduction of harmful substances into the environment. It causes damage to human health, plants, animals and ecosystems. The major types of pollution are air pollution water pollution soil pollution noise pollution thermal pollution radioactive pollution air pollution is caused by vehicles industries burning of fossil fuels and deforestation common air pollutants are carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide nitrogen oxides and smoke effects of air pollution include respiratory diseases global warming acid rain and ozone depletion Water pollution occurs due to sewage, industrial waste, agricultural chemicals and oil spills. It affects aquatic life and drinking water quality. Soil pollution is caused by pesticide, chemical fertilizer and solid waste. It reduces soil fertility and crop productivity. Noise pollution is caused by traffic, industries and loudspeakers. It leads to stress, hearing loss and sleep disturbance. Thermal pollution increases water temperature and harms aquatic organisms. Control measures include using clean energy, pollution control devices, proper waste disposal and public awareness. Conclusion exam line. Pollution control is essential to protect the environment and ensure healthy human life. Let's go into module 
Module 4 1 Minute Revision Solid Waste Disaster Management Solid waste is unwanted material produced from homes, industries, hospitals, and agriculture. Types of solid waste include Municipal waste Household waste Industrial waste Biomedical waste E-waste Hazardous waste Solid waste management means proper collection, segregation, treatment, and disposal of waste. Steps in solid waste management are Segregation at source wet and dry waste Collection and transportation Processing like composting and recycling Safe disposal in landfills 3R principle is very important Reduce waste generation Reuse materials Recycle waste products Biomedical waste comes from hospitals and must be treated carefully to avoid infection. E-waste includes old computers, mobiles, and electronics. It contains toxic metals and should be recycled properly. Disaster Management A disaster is a sudden event causing loss of life and property. Examples, earthquakes, floods, cyclones, landslides, and industrial accidents. Phases of Disaster Management Prevention Preparedness Response Recovery Conclusion Exam Line Proper waste management and disaster preparedness are essential for environmental safety and sustainable development. Module 5 Module 5 One Minute Revision Social Issues Sustainability Sustainable development means development that meets present needs without harming future generations. It balances economic growth, environmental protection, and social welfare. Urban problems are caused by overpopulation and industrialization. Major issues include water scarcity, waste disposal, air pollution, and traffic congestion. Water conservation is very important due to increasing demand and limited supply. Methods include rainwater harvesting, reuse of water, and reducing wastage. Rainwater harvesting means collecting and storing rainwater for future use. It helps recharge groundwater and reduces water shortage. Climate change is caused by excessive greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide. It leads to global warming, sea level rise, and extreme weather conditions. Global warming increases Earth's average temperature due to human activities. Environmental ethics teaches humans to respect and protect nature. It promotes responsible use of natural resources. Public awareness and education play a key role in protecting the environment. Conclusion Exam Line Sustainable development and environmental awareness are essential for a safe and healthy future.